I want to turn now, mm. Dr. Ashton, you are answering questions okay. from our viewers. Let's start with the first. Could a child using an asthma inhaler spread the virus? Should they take any precautions? Well, potentially, remember, anyone can spread the virus. But difference between an inhaler that people use for asthma and a nebulizer, okay? Mm. Generally, an inhaler, you're inhaling, not really exhaling. So um, obviously, there's no real-world data on this. But the thinking is that, no, by inhaling, you're not spreading the virus. But with a nebulizer treatment, potentially, there could be particles uh, that go out into the close environment. But that's usually done at home or in a hospital setting. Well, my question, too, here. I recently got blood work done after having COVID-19 and was told I now have anemia. Is anemia common to develop post-COVID? Short answer, we don't know. And the reason we don't know is because we would have to, in order to find the answer to that question, be testing people before they came down with mm. COVID, right? And that would mean routine, you know, random testing of the general population. So we have no idea. A lot of people suffer from anemia and don't even know it. It depends upon the degree, the cause, um, but it is something that we are following in patients who have had COVID because we're seeing a lot of mysterious vascular effects of this virus. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you. And folks, thank you for submitting your questions. Keep them coming to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.